Hey guys, Dr. Axe here, Doctor of Functional Medicine and founder of DrAxe.com. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you the six steps you need to follow in order to cure bad breath. And obviously, nobody likes bad breath, but the bigger thing is it's typically an underlying sign that there's something not going right in your body, and that tends to be a bacterial imbalance or lack of detoxification. So if things tend to sit in your system, or if there is an imbalance of, of good probiotics and bacteria and microbes in your body to bad, those are typically what are actually causing some of your issues. And so to start, I'm gonna go over uh, the six things that you need to do. And number one thing you need to do in order to overcome bad breath is get more probiotics in your diet. Consume more probiotic-rich foods, especially things like grass-fed yogurt and kefir, and take a quality probiotic supplement. For many of you guys, you wanna double down and take a double dose of probiotics a day, but probiotics without a doubt can help, up, can help kill off yeast and bad bacteria and the, those sort of microbes that can be causing bad breath. So again, probiotics are crucial. The next thing you wanna do, number two, is use peppermint essential oil. Peppermint oil gives that lasting, a fresh breath taste, it uh, has a pleasant odor, and also has certain types of compounds in it that actually can help kill off bad bacteria in your body. So again, peppermint oil. And what I like to do is actually I make a homemade toothpaste mixing probiotics, coconut oil, peppermint oil, and a little bit of baking soda, and you can make a homemade toothpaste that way that actually gives you some great tasting breath. Uh, you can even add a, a, just a drop of peppermint oil to your water a few times a day, and it can be used in that way. The third thing you want to do to eliminate bad breath is use some baking soda. In fact, uh, after a meal, you can just put in a pinch of baking soda. Now, you typically want to do this between meals, not during meals, but a little bit of baking soda as well can help eliminate bad breath. And the reason is, is baking soda is very alkaline. And other ways to alkalize your body and help improve your breath is by drinking more green juices. Now, you don't want to do juices that have fruit because those will actually make your breath worse. But doing green, green juices, especially wheatgrass juice, things that are high in chlorophyll, like kale and parsley and cilantro, a lot of those leafy greens, cucumber and celery, those can help eliminate bad breath, which brings me to my next one is parsley. In fact, parsley is known for helping eliminate the odor from garlic. And so if you have too much garlic or something, uh, or too much vinegar and your breath smells like that, uh, parsley has been shown to help neutralize odor. Part of the reason is it is one of the highest herbs and vegetables in chlorophyll, if not the highest. So again, using parsley, and you can just chew on some parsley after a meal or add it to a salad or juice it. Uh, those are great ways to add parsley into your diet. And then last but not least, drink more water with lemon or lemon essential oil. You know, water really helps keeps, keeps things moving in your system, helps flushing things out. So again, I recommend take your body weight in water, ounces of water, so if you weigh 150 pounds, you wanna be drinking 75 ounces of water a day Make sure you're getting plenty of water. And again, I add either a little bit of lemon juice or a drop or two of lemon essential oil, which can help continue to clear out candida and some of those things out of your system that can be causing bad breath. So those are the six things you do wanna do. I wanna mention this finally. The things that, you, that can really cause bad breath is consuming too much sugar. That plain and simple is one of the biggest things that will cause bad breath. So again, reducing your sugar intake, loading up on more healing foods like vegetables will also help. And if you do that, you're gonna see great results. And hey, if you wanna find some natural do-it-yourself recipes using things like peppermint oil, I have a, a couple recipes for homemade toothpaste and homemade mouthwash if you search on DrAxe.com. Just search, doc, go to DrAxe.com and search toothpaste or homemade toothpaste and search mouthwash and you'll find it in our DIY recipe section. I know that if you use those products and follow these six steps, you're gonna see great improvements in your breath. And by the way, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe here to the YouTube channel. I've got some great stuff coming out here real soon on other natural healing remedies.